It's Operation Christmas Child, and we last week were watching the steam train down in Port Heron take lots of shoeboxes back uh, to the oh, depot. We've come up here to uh, the Spring Valley State and the sort of operation headquarters, and uh, quite an operation you have here. Yes, indeed. This is our, our warehouse. It's great. What happens is the shoeboxes come to the warehouse. Once everybody has, has done their boxes, they drop them off, and um, they get transported here, and we check them. Um, the reason for the checking is to ensure that there's nothing that shouldn't be in the boxes, like chocolate or liquids or um, uh, things that might spoil a box. Yeah. And there's a big notes on the board on the, on the wall here about that. This is for customs problems, and obviously um, sweets go off and that sort of thing, is it? Yes, we have to check the sell-by date at least March next year. That is for customs. No chocolate. That's because they don't want chocolate from <laughs> the UK. Anything with milk. Um, no food. Also a customs thing. So um, that's why we check them. But at the same time, you've also got a great selection around here of extra items if, if they're short or they need a toy. Because I know you're very keen that everyone gets a toy. For yes, if we get a box in that's sort of half full um, and it just needs a little bit of TLC, then we have fillers here and we just we add to the box. Um, so we, we just sort of give it a little bit of an enhancement. Now... It's hard at times. We've talked about this the other week. Uh, have you been affected? Definitely. Uh, we were 400 boxes down last year compared to the previous year. This year, at, um, we seem to be down at this stage compared to last year. Hopefully this week, we'll see a whole load more come in because we don't want to be down. And while we've been here, I think Foxtel School, amongst others, have just had their deliveries made. And you've got this great pile in the corner of... Uh, Boxes waiting to be processed. It's nice. Yes, yes, we had a we've had a few deliveries this morning, and the boxes they are waiting just to be checked, and then they go uh, on to be put into cartons and palleted and uh, ready for shipment next week. So, w where do they actually end up? Which countries will receive the donations from the Isle of Man? Do you know? Paul, we don't know at the moment where they go because from here they go to Liverpool, and then when they get to Liverpool, they're on the next load from Liverpool to wherever their boxes are going. However, we have a strong suspicion that it might be Africa this year. Now, it's, not, it's almost too late, but not quite too late. You've got another week to go, haven't you? Well, we stretch it out. Today is the last day officially, but we stretch it out for another week. Um, so Monday next week, 25th, is absolute last, last day. So if anybody is there and still wants to do a box, please feel free to do so. Please do so. We do need those boxes. So take us through the process. They need, they need a shoebox, first of all, right? They need a shoebox. They need to wrap it up, lid and box separately in wrapping paper. And then they fill the shoebox with little gifts like, you know, toy for the appropriate category that they've chosen, uh, stationery, hat, scarf, gloves, sweets. Always put sweets in and then maybe some toiletries as well. All the details online, I know that. All the details online, www.operationchristmaschild.org.uk. And the main thing is not to seal it, because obviously, like here, you can see, it's got to be looked at and checked. That's Indeed, they have to. it has to be, be able to be checked. And also, when it gets to customs, sometimes oh, a few yeah. of the boxes will be checked as well. And that's why we check, so that if they check and, the, you know, yes. they don't uh, find things that shouldn't be in there. Great. Well, good luck. I know you've got some volunteers, in, I think, from Lloyd's today, haven't you? We well? have got two volunteers from Lloyd's, which is great. And then we've got... Uh, more volunteers from Operation Christmas Child that volunteer every year, and without our volunteers, we just wouldn't be able to operate. So that's brilliant.